Watching 13 News, Kansas News Leader. Lights and flowers combined for a beautiful evening at Old Prairie Town and the Ward Mead Botanical Garden. Garden Glow is back for a fifth year. Elsie Gibson and Denise Pettit with Friends of Ward Mead mm -hmm. are here to tell us a bit more about it. Thanks for being here, ladies. Thank you. Thank you for having us. All right, Garden Glow. For those who haven't been, mm -hmm. in basic terms, what is Garden Glow? It's an amazing new event that we have at Ward Mead Park. It'll be taking place uh, from the 8th, September 8th through the 24th. And what do people expect when they go through the garden, Denise, at Garden Glow? Well, the gardens are beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. exactly. So we have a combination of like oversized, handmade, botanical, lit, botanic, relatively botanically correct displays. <laughs> and then the guys have also worked really, really hard to actually light up our garden and to light up the flowers and the trees. So you can really, really see the, the beauty of our garden because it's at its full summer splendor right now and it just looks wonderful. One of the new things though this year is why you have your friend <laughs> here and uh, you Billy were the me, squid. Billy the squid. He wants uh, to be an octopus when he grows up. I was calling Billy a spider. But oh, he's a squid. Oh. Well, he really is a spider, but, but he doesn't know that. He's got a little, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, a squid is his Halloween costume. Because Halloween is the fun area that you have. What are you doing to really play out the Halloween theme this year? We have the Last Chance Cemetery. And it takes place in the 1800s village behind the authentic buildings that are back there. And where it's nice and creepy and dark and ghostly. <laughs> You never know what lurks behind yonder bush. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Which sounds creepy. Uh, but there's a fun way, Denise, that you're getting kids involved. What can they do to have their part in the Halloween areas and the garden shadows? Well, the Halloween areas, we have it set up so that our candy land le leads into our uh, Walk of Shadows. And then we also have our fairy gardens, which we've worked a lot of years making these, and they're back behind the mansion, and you have... I've lost count of how many of them we have because we always have new ones. Little fairies and, and gnomes and, and other things around there so that the little kids and I've even seen a lot of adults that really, really <laughs> like seeing them and pointing out all the fun little details. But there's some glow in the dark oh, rocks. Yeah, right? yes. Yes. Oh, yes. glow in the dark Thank you. Paint Thank you. class. Yeah, okay. So how is paint that class. working? Okay. Well, you can do a walk in class, come on Sunday. A lot of good things going on Sunday. The, the uh, drugstore also. We'll have a jam session going on in there, and we'll have a brand new Sunday called the Garden Glow Sunday, <laughs> you know. And uh, then there'll be vendors in the, in the walkways, and then we'll have this walk-in class that you can do. And if you paint a rock during that class, <laughs> what happens with the rock? Oh, we, we're going to put him into a snake in the graveyard. So you, you become you, part of yes, you become the Garden part of the Glow. Display. That's right. Is yes, there a right. fee for that? Uh, yes, there is. There's a $12 fee. Okay, and I do know there's a phone number that do you want people to register in advance or if they walk up day of, if you have space, do you think it'll just kind of depend if there's space? They can do both ways. Okay, okay. sounds fantastic. Mm -hmm. what, what do you hope people come away with after they visit the Garden Glow? Well, first of all, the gardens there are amazing. We have several weddings a year, so you're going to see some beautiful landscaping, combinations of, of flower beds and island beds. Um, just a smile on their face and a skip in their step. What about you, Denise? Well, our gardens are really, really magical after dark because obviously our park normally closes down mm -hmm. at dusk. So you rarely get to be in there after dark. And then to see it all lit up with all the flowers and it's just a very, very peaceful, very beautiful place to be. And fortunately, I think Jeremy's going to get us some nice weather. Fingers crossed. <laughs> no pressure so. there. <laughs> so you might consider this Garden Glow kind of a pre-Halloween warm-up, if you mm -hmm. will. September 8th yeah. through the 24th, 7 to 10 o'clock each night over there at Old Prairie Town, 124 Northwest Fillmore. Admission just $5. Kids 5 and under are free. And again, if you want to register in advance for the rock painting, 251-6900 is the number to do that. I will get that on WIBW.com as well. Billy, thank you for joining Elsie and Denise today. Appreciate you both for being here. Thank you for having us. Thank we you. We will find out what the weather